reports that a subway worker took a leak on a wall at a station in front of horrified commuters has many people in T.O. really P.O.'d. A lot of us older guys had a different gut reaction. Lewis, you ever peed in public? Oh, probably yes. Yes, I would. There's some guys that can hold it pretty long, though. So as male baby boomers, our body parts are all getting bigger. Our bellies, our man boobs, our chins, and our prostates. So we can't always get to the loo on time. There should be designated areas that uh, allow this kind of stuff. <laughs> Anywhere it'll fit. Down Highway 401 in Guelph, they collected 6,000 liters during an experiment with outdoor urinals. 6,000 liters in Guelph. Now translate that to downtown Toronto. Young Street would look like the Yellow River. The solution? Well, number one, pissoirs. Public urinals like they have all over Europe and now in Guelph and in Victoria, B.C., especially near bars, universities, and restaurants serving asparagus. <laughs> so as the baby boom moves into old age, the problem's only going to get worse. Throw in street people and college drunks and joggers and run-of-the-mill anarchists and you got a piss pot full of trouble. Maybe we ought to have pissoirs around here. True. Usually only a guy can use it, but it, at least it kind of takes care of the overflow, if you know what I mean. Pissoirs are quick, easy, and a lot cheaper than that fancy schmancy outhouse the city built for tourists down by the harbor. And they're no eyesore either. Piss on it, you say? Just another drain on the public purse? Uh-uh. The public pee problem is here to stay. Now, if you excuse me, I have to see a man about a horse. Mike Strobel for Sun News.